more. So also he who had the two, talent made two talent more. But he who had received the one talent, went and dug in the ground, hide his master's money. Hallelujah. Amen. So those that received two, were able to increase to three. Those that received three, were able to increase. Help us to sanctify ourselves. If we have children here that are married, speak to your children. Some of them are killing their husbands. So they are using their degree to destroy their marriage. They sat down and used their husbands as a slaves. If your husband once loves you and cook for you, does not give you authority to let your husband cook every day for you. As a wife, your duty and responsibility is to what? Save the man. I say what? Save the man. Repeat. Save the man. To what? Save the man. Let us stop running our mouth. It will not be a blessing to us. Am I talking sense? Treat the man with dignity and respect. Save him. And God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. Because for you to produce is part of it. It's number one major issue that women are going through at home. They refuse to respect. Especially when they see that their husband is lacking Christianity in them. But let me tell you, you that have the light, why don't you shine? I say, why don't you shine? I say, why don't you shine? For the man to start following him. A lot of us, because of our attitude, our husbands refuse to worship God. Because you think you can blow the tongues from morning to night. So immediately he start talking to you, honey, cabre, cabro, sukata, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. You are ignoring your husband. Treat him like what? He paid your bride price. He paid your bride price. A lot of men are crying inside. A lot of men are dying inside because women refuse to purify themselves. Women refuse to be a productive. Let us change our character. Let us change our attitude as he spoke to us here. That the beginning, everything is our wisdom. If there is no wisdom, we cannot do anything. Solomon could have asked car. Solomon could have asked a house. Solomon could have asked so many things. But he said, give me the wisdom. Give me the wisdom. Women, let us ask for wisdom to train our family. Let us ask for wisdom to train our marriage, to train our children, to train So that the glory of the Lord will shine upon our life. Amen. So many things we are doing these days. Gay and lesbians all over. Hey, if you're a woman here, let me tell you. If you know you are practicing lesbianism, stop. I say what? Stop. Stop. Before 
God anger comes on you. Because we've been following bad companies. Bad companies. They have a website that when you go, you will see women and women sleeping. Can you imagine this? And yet they call themselves Christians. Huh? The day is so near. All these things prove that the day is so near that me and you thought. So if you have the opportunity to sit under the anointing of the great man of God, don't take it for granted now. I say what? Don't take it for what? Grab everything that you could so that on the second coming you will not miss it because the rapture, it will snap like something else. It's terrible. It is terrible. Because of that, this just a lot of us doesn't want to listen to end time a, a, a message. Hey, Abby, that's what we have. Nothing else but end time. Yeah. We don't have anything. We don't. I say the end time. There is no pampering. There is no deviating. That has it is. That's what we have to give. Don't take the word of God for granted. Be a responsible believer. And avail yourself. And God will bless you. Come for Jesus. Let's take some points. Are we enjoying so far? I told you I'm not preaching. I'm teaching. Let's take some points. How we can produce. How we can bear fruit. Grab a pen and a paper and grab it. It is very important. Thank you, Jesus. Number one, for us to produce, we must remain focused. I said we must what? For us to produce, we must what? Because when you remain focused, what, what will happen? Things started for into what? Its place. Come for Jesus. Amen. When we remain focused, God will bless us. As the Bible doesn't actually record the thoughts and attitude of those who saw Noah building the ark. You see, when Noah was trying to build the ark, people were having fun of him. They thought, ah, what are you doing? But you see, Noah remained focused. He heard the voice of the Lord. And he knew that it's going to be a day where everything is going to destroy. So he has to focus on whatever that he's doing. So you see that when that time came, he was able to finish the act and go in with all that the direction God what gave him. Yeah. But if the other people that were trying to push him down were focused, all of them could have what went in. But at the end, no one went with what his family and the direction that God what gave to him. So when we remain focused, it helps us. It builds us. It builds our Christianity. But if you don't remain focused, it is very difficult. Even when the man of God is giving you direction, yet your mind is somewhere. Yet someone else is talking something else on your what? On, on you. So focus is very important as a believer. We must stay alert and focus. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Number two, make others more productive, as Deuteronomy 34 says. Make others more productive. Hey, this is everything is about me. Me, 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 me. me. I'm too tired of saying me, me, me. 
instead of saying we, we, we. Even things that you have produced, God has given to you for you and your husband. You are trying to snatch it. Telling your husband everything is for me. Hey, women here, what do you need at all? Our inheritance must be half. But not this way. So if God bless you with property, stop snatching away from your from your husband. Can't you say we? Yes, they remain me, me, me. No. That will not help you to produce. The little that you have, try and share it. The little that you have, try and spread it for others to also to what? To have some. Instead of being so jealous and putting chains only by yourself. If God became alone with that sharing, you think me and you will be here? Hmm? He gave his one and only begotten son to us. He shared it to mankind. Yet we are still ungrateful. Let us produce. That is number two. It is very important. Once you are producing, God will bless you and your children from generation to generation will also what? Produce. God for Jesus. <laughs> number three. <clears throat> Expect setbacks. Hey. Setback. Reverend Betty, what are you talking about? Oh, yes. Let me tell you. You cannot tell me you are under the presence of the Lord and continue to drink honey every day. No. Hey. No. I said no. As I'm standing here, let me tell you my secret. This week, Papa, I had eight injections. And I'm standing here. On Monday, eight injections. The setback are about to come. Trials are about to come. Problems are about to come. It doesn't mean there is no Christ. It doesn't mean there is no hope. I said to myself, even if I have to sit in the wheelchair, for them to bring me here, I will come. I don't care whatever devil you will do. It was my birthday yesterday. And I couldn't walk. And this morning I said, I opened my door and I said, listen to me here. I am going, whether you like it or not, because God is ahead of me. Amen. I don't care the ingestion. Amen. Any ingestion, steroid and epidural together. Ooh. On my waist, my eyes was on it when they were putting it. And I cried, I started crying like a baby. As I'm talking to you, I have a patch. to the car. What do you think is going to stop me from doing the work of God? Yeah, yeah. The more I am weak, the more I get stronger in this world. I don't care what the devil will do. So let us expect the setback. Job didn't do anything wrong. Even when his children party themselves, Job will buy cow and everything and say, maybe they might be sin. Let me party and ask for God forgiveness for them. Job did not do anything wrong. But yet there was set back. So, you have done 21 days. But maybe tomorrow there's going to be a storm. But does it mean that the 21 days was in vain? No. I said no. On Friday, I bless a marriage. Saturday, I preach at Pentecost. And then on Sunday evening, I couldn't walk anymore. 
And then on Monday, I was in Abetanish. Six injection. Each one injection must go into 80 needles. Mm -hmm. Those that are doctors here. The, in the injection is like about five, uh, the, the needles like five inches, six inches. Yes. yes. <laughs> what did the doctor say? Oh, the spine has a lot of damage. <laughs> so, this time we cannot put you into sleep. So, you have to bear with us. And I'm like, life is unfair. I started saying it like that. I said, how could you allow them to do this to me? Father, how could you? How could you? And then in a second, he started speaking to me. I know what I'm doing. So can you imagine the pains as I'm standing here? I took 800 milligrams before I step into the car. Tarano. That's what is taking me plus a patch. Terminal patch. You know the patch, right? Mm -hmm. It's here. I can open it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are sitting here and you have a hands, you have a legs, and you have no pain, and you refuse to come and sweep in this house, you refuse to come and sing. You refuse to come and preach. What do you think you are deceiving? What do you think you are deceiving? People are in tears every minute. But yet, they stand at the pulpit. And they say, Father, use us. All that he needs is your availability. I'm not doing the work. He is doing it. I'm not even feeling it. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. When Papa was standing here and he started praying, all that I heard was you are healed. Yeah. I was standing here. Amen. Because the shock that I was feeling, it was so strong. But immediately Papa was started praying, I bent down here because I, it was difficult for me to stand. So I decided to kneel down. And I started hearing, you are healed. Amen. And I said, oh, and I said, and I said, thank you. Because your children need me tonight. They need me tonight. They need me tonight. I'm telling you, God needs you. He needs you. Just obey yourself. I vow to him that even if I have to be on the wheelchair, Papa, to go back to mission, I will. I don't care. Even when you sit at the wheelchair, they give you priority now. Yeah. <laughs> for Jesus! Oh yes, they give you priority. Everything priority. You won't wait. They will just push you. Something. They will just push you. Everything you got priority. And so, even food, they give you special. <laughs> Except I accept the setback. It is important. I'm telling you. I'm in pains. When we talk about pain, scale 0 to 10, I'm more than 10. I'm standing here. But nothing will stop me. Proclaiming the name of Jesus. Have faith and stand. And he will bless you. Clap for Jesus. Practicals. We list him, but when we go home and we don't practice, it doesn't apply to our life. Even when you are asking for wisdom and the wisdom does not apply to your life, it's, it's nothing. We have to practice everything that he doing in us. It is very important as a child of God. It is very important as a children of God, as a believer, as a Christian. Don't allow yourself for the devil to take you.
you to use whatever they want. Sometimes it's scary, sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's tough, but stand. Know who you are. Know who you are in Christ. From January, so as I'm talking to you, by God's grace, 130 programs. Yes. 130 programs. God have used me to do. With this pain too. Abby, I said with this pain too. Africa Mission alone was 44 programs. In five weeks. Europe Mission. That is the wish. And since I came back, Every day, every weekend, I'm somewhere. Amen. It's not my will. We are not our own. Yes. If it's our own, we will sleep and sleep and sleep. We will not wake up. Yes. But when God calls you, you are not on your own. Amen. Beloved, you are here. People may not understand you. But you know yourself. Amen. Know who you are. Amen. Don't let anyone step you back. Don't allow any negative thoughts draw you from the Lord. Amen. But as Noah remained focused, nothing stopped Noah from creating the ark. Amen. As Job remained focused, not even his wife could have changed his mind. Amen. Don't allow your spouse to change your mind from God. Amen. Because when that day comes, mm -hmm. everyone will have their own reward according Amen. to their service. Amen. Not for Jesus. Amen. Are we enjoying so far? Amen. Number five, focus on the task in hand. Focus on the task in hand. It is very important. Proverbs 6. We have to focus on the task in hand. What is your focus? What is the task in your hand? The task in your hand is the family that God has given to you. The task in your hand is the church that God has given to you. The task in your hand is the call that God has placed on your life. The task in your hand is the children that God has given to you. The task in your hand is the family that God wants you to take care of them. Focus. Don't let it slip away. Someone is looking for. Do you know how long it takes others? You have got it and you are misusing it. Stop it. Purification brings joy. Purification brings joy. It brings joy. I say it brings joy. But if you don't purify yourself, you will cry. You will cry. Because you become disobedient. But when you purify yourself, it's a joy. That God will lay in your heart and things will fall into place. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Are we enjoying so far? Amen. Number six, focus on the fruit. Matthew 7. Every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. Thank you, Jesus. Bearing a good fruit, as I said before, it's not the chemical one, so the organic one. That one there is nothing in. That is the rare from above. Beloved, beloved, Jesus is coming soon. How do we bear good fruit? How do we bear good fruit? I wish I could let somebody raise your hands. How do we? 
and he what? See? Is that not simple? So why we don't want to bear it? Hmm. Why we don't want to bear it? We must deliver a good one. Instead of deliver a bad fruit. We have passed the month of September. We are in October. Yet, you are resisting. You don't want to bear the good fruit. Your belly is so big to the point that it needs to come out. But you are sitting on your own blessing. Stop sitting on your blessing. I say stop sitting on your blessing. A lot of us has been sitting on their blessings. I said to tonight, stop sitting on your what? Blessings. It is important. Just avail yourself. In your closet and speak to the Lord. The Lord help me. Tonight I want to bear a good fruit. Help us to sanctify ourselves. If we have children here that are married, speak to your children. Some of them are killing their husbands. So they are using their degree to destroy their marriage. They sat down and used their husbands as a slaves. If your husband once loves you and cook for you, does not give you authority. To let your husband cook every day for you. As a wife, your duty and responsibility is to what? Serve the man. I say what? Serve the man. Repeat. Serve the man. To what? Serve the man. Let us stop running our mouth. It will not be a blessing to us. Am I talking sense? Treat the man with dignity and respect. Serve him. And God will bless you. God will bless you. Because for you to produce is part of it. It's number one major issue that women are going through at home. They refuse to respect. Especially when they see that their husband is lacking Christianity in them. But let me tell you, you that have the light, why don't you shine? I say, why don't you shine? I say, why don't you shine? For the man to start following him. A lot of us, because of our attitude, our husbands refuse to worship God. Because you think you can blow the tongues from morning to night. 
So immediately he starts talking to you, honey, cabre, cabro, sekata, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You are ignoring your husband. Treat him like what? He paid your bride price. He paid your bride price. A lot of men are crying inside. A lot of men are dying inside. Because women refuse to purify themselves. Women refuse to be a productive. Let us change our character. Let us change our attitude. As he spoke to us here. At the beginning, everything is our wisdom. If there is no wisdom, we cannot do anything. Solomon could have asked car. Solomon could have asked a house. Solomon could have asked so many things, but he said, give me the wisdom. Give me the wisdom. We may let us ask for wisdom to train our family. Let us ask for wisdom to train our marriage, to train our children, to train our community. So that the glory of the Lord will shine upon our life. So many things we are doing these days. Gay and lesbians all over here. If you're a woman here, let me tell you. If you know you are practicing lesbianism, stop. I say what? Stop. Stop. Before God, anger comes on you. Because we've been following bad companies. Bad companies. They have a website that when you go, you will see women and women sleeping. Can you imagine this? And yet they call themselves Christians. The day is so near. All these things prove that the day is so near that me and you thought. So if you have the opportunity to sit under the anointing of the great man of God, don't take it for granted now. I say what? Don't take it for what? Grab everything that you could so that on the second coming, you will not miss it because the rapture, it will snap like something else. It's terrible. It is terrible. Because of that, this just a lot of us doesn't want to listen to end time a, a, a message. Hey, Abby, that's what we have. Nothing else but end time. Yeah. We don't have anything. We don't. I said the end time. There is no pampering. There is no deviating. The has it is. That's what we have to give. Don't take the word of God for granted. Be a responsible believer. And avail yourself. And God will bless you. Come for Jesus. Let's take some things. I'm teaching. Let's take some points. How we can produce. How we can bear fruit. Grab a pen and a paper and grab it. It is very important. Thank you, Jesus. Number one, for us to produce, we must remain focused. I said we must what? For us to produce, we must what? Because when you remain focused, what, what will happen? Things start to fall into what? Its place. Start for Jesus. When we remain focused, God will bless us. The Bible doesn't actually record the thoughts and attitude of those who saw Noah building the ark. You see, when Noah was trying to build the ark, people were having fun of him. They thought, ah, what are you doing? But you see, Noah remained focused. 
he heard the voice of the Lord. And he knew that it's going to be a day where everything is going to destroy. So he has to focus on whatever that he's doing. So you see that when that time came, he was able to finish the act and go in with all that the direction God what gave him. But if the other people that were trying to push him down were focused, all of them could have what went in. But at the end, no one went with what his family and the direction that God what gave to him. So when we remain focused, it helps us. It builds us. It builds our Christianity. But if you don't remain focused, it is very difficult. Even when the man of God is giving you direction, yet your mind is somewhere. Yet someone else is talking something else on your what? On, on you. So focus is very important as a believer. We must stay alert and focus. Clap for Jesus. Number two. Make others more productive. As the Deuteronomy 34 says. Make others more productive. Hey. This is. Everything is about me. 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 I'm too tired of saying me, me, me. Instead of saying we, we, we. Even things that you have produced, God has given to you for you and your husband. You are trying to snatch it. Telling your husband everything is for me. Hey, women here. What do you need at all? Our inheritance must be above. But not this way. So if God bless you with property, stop snatching away from your, from your husband. Can't you say we? Yes, they remain me, 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 me. Number three. Expect setbacks. Hey. Reverend Betty, what are you talking about? Oh, yes. Let me tell you. You cannot tell me you are under the presence of the Lord and continue to drink honey every day. No. Hey. No. I said no. 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 I don't know what the devil you will do. It was my birthday yesterday. And I couldn't walk. And this morning I said, I opened my door and I said, listen to me here. I am going, whether you like it or not, because God is ahead of me. I don't care the ingestion. And the ingestion, steroid and epidural together. On my waist, my eyes was on it when they were putting it. And I cried, I started crying. I hope you are getting it. But when I started speaking to myself, the devil, what do you even want from me? Just leave. And I started stepping from the bed. And I started walking. And I said, I can't make it. Because you have promised that you will never fail me. Because you are in it. Even though I'm in danger. Even I was questioning it. Even I was taking things priority. But when you are in, things will start what? Falling into worship. Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. Miracles today. You are the destiny changer. Come and do destiny, destiny today. Come and change our destiny. 
destiny, a destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Lift up. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh.
grandchild. Their life are not a wish. Run the wish. You see, when we go to sports, everybody wants to try their best. Nobody wants to lose. You will see them there on the same line. But yet, someone is still forcing, trying to pass at them. Run the race, never lose. I said, run the race. Amen. Never lose. But he's not a God of loser. Mm. Right. He's a God of winner. Amen. And he never lose. Amen. He never give up. Amen. Neither does you, my dear brethren here. Let's start, let us continue to hold the one that has called us is faithful. Amen. And he will never disappoint us. Never, 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 Don't look never. back. Don't look who is talking mm. against you. Don't look your brother that is ahead of you. Mm. Hey, when somebody tells you why are you sitting down for your sister, your brother ahead of you, hey, tell them right. it's just their mind. Because the mind of God is not people mind. Yeah. The mind of God, he knows what is right. He knows what is best. He knows my set time. And if my set time hasn't come, I am not stopping the rest. I will continue. Lift up your voice. And tell the Lord, tell me to run the rest. Tell me to run the rest. I am not stopping the rest. I am not stopping the rest.
said many things as she was teaching across the board and everybody got something. 
So I want us to stretch our, our hand toward her. We pray for her. That the Lord will be a portion that the God who have called her we know will not abandon her. And even in her weakness she'll find herself strong in the Lord. So we're going to pray for physical blessing. Emotional blessing. Mental blessing. Spiritual blessing. Family blessing. Marital blessing. She's also a human being. She has a husband and a children. So open your mouth and pronounce the blessing upon you. Sovereign Lord, we thank you. We, we bless you even as we lay our hands on your daughter who we chose him. Apostle Paul said, I thank Christ Jesus, my Lord, who have enabled me for he counted me worthy, putting me into the ministry. We thank you for the anointing upon her life. The grace is stood upon her. In spite of all the challenges, Lord, you have never, never turned your back on her. She said, faithful is he who calls. And we know that the, 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 the will of God will never take her where the grace of God can keep her. We pray to the name of Jesus for her. That any energy that she has exerted, may you replenish it in Jesus' name. We are praying for a new anointing, a new blessing, a new mercy, a new compassion in the name of Jesus. We pray for total healing, total healing, total healing. Total healing, total healing in Jesus' name. He said, By your stripes, we are healed. Thank you for your, two, your healing touch from the very crown of her head to the very soul of your feet. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for her husband. Thank you for the children. Prosper the home. Grant peace so she can continue to do her work. In the name of Jesus. Let them financially lift them up, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Show them that we know that you have begun a good work in hell. You finish it for your glory. In Jesus' name, the church say, Amen. 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 Why don't you take a partner quickly? Take a partner. Take a partner before we go. Then take a partner. Take a partner. Many things were said. Today, a lot of things were said and gave us nine points to be productive. The things we need to do. He spoke a lot about the hope. So I love my hope the home. For husbands, for wives, for singers, for single homes, everything. He spoke about your job. He spoke about the house and the church house. I want you to pray for that person that you are holding on to. That whatever the Lord spoke to him or her about, that God will give him the grace to do it. Begin to pray. Grace to do it. Grace to do it. Grace to live pure. Grace to be productive. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.